Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and today I will be showing you Comware 5 uh, Radius Authentication and TACAX Authentication against a ClearPass Policy Manager. So with the HPE product families we have a Comware 5 and Comware 7 operating systems um, and there are some slight differences between the way Comware 5 and Comware 7 devices authenticate against a radio server. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the configuration of a Comware 5 device and in this example it's a 5120 and uh, I'm going to show you uh, the configuration for RADIUS. So let me show you first the RADIUS scheme. I've created one called ClearPass. And you can see here I am using a primary authentication and accounting um, destination which is the ClearPass server and a key is provided here which is uh, obviously ciphered. Um, two other things, um, setting the username format without domain so I'm just logging in with a plain username I'm setting the NES IP address and the other thing in order for ClearPass to understand or to push the right uh, uh, attributes uh, to the switch, I have to set the server type to extended. The second step in the configuration is the domain. So I have created a domain called radius and let me show you the configuration of the domain. Uh, I'm using authentication, authorization and accounting for login and I'm setting the radius scheme to the radius scheme that I've just created and that's basically it and the other thing is the domain that you have to set for the um, to, to allow uh, radius login uh, so let me just quickly do a display current and let me show you the command for this which is domain default enable radius so the default domain that will be used for radius authentication uh, will be the radius domain. And then finally, uh, obviously in order to get access to the device, we have to set the user interface. So I'm going to display this again here and what you can see here is that we are configuring the authentication mode, we set it to scheme, we are setting the user privilege level to 3 which is uh, not a problem because eventually ClearPass will provide the user privilege level and I'm using SSH uh, as inbound protocol so this is for for SSH so in order to uh, allow SSH obviously we have to enable the SSH server and we do that with the command SSH server enable and uh, the other thing we have to do is we have to create a public uh, key uh, local create RSA. Well, the key pair already exists but let me, let me just replace it. So what we can set is a key with a maximum value of 2048. We just use the default value and once the keys are generated uh, we can start working on ClearPass. Let's check out the ClearPass configuration. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to import a new radius dictionary because the Comware 5 devices are using vendor specific attributes for allowing a specific um, privilege level. Uh, so let me show you the XML file that we need to import. So this is the XML file and we are adding a, a vendor specific uh, attribute here with the ID of 2011 and the, we are adding an attribute here with ID 29 which represents the H3C exec privilege. So that one is uh, imported here on the vendor specific attri radius attributes and we can use this uh, this radius dictionary 
uh, in the in the profile. The other thing that we're configuring is the uh, the roles and role mappings for Radius. So I have created a Radius admin and a Radius read-only role, and I'm mapping that role to the uh, those roles to the role mappings. So what you can see here is I've got the mapping rules and my uh, role name equals radius admin and then uh, that maps to the radius admin role. The third thing I have to do is obviously set up the device for Conware 5, uh, providing the IP address of the device and the radius shared secret. Now let's have a look at the profiles policies and the service. Let's first check out the profile. I have a profile, actually I have two profiles. Uh, one profile is returning the admin uh, level and the other one is returning the read-only level. So you can see here that I've added the vendor specific attributes H3C exit privilege with a value of three. Three represents, um, the, well, admin privilege. And let me show you the other one which is returning value zero, which is the same as, you know, which relates to read only. And then the next step is to create the policy. And in that policy, we are adding the rules. So if my role equals radius admin, my uh, radius uh, Conware 5 admin profile is executed. And the same for radius read only. And then uh, for the service, what we have created here is a, a radius and generic radius enforcement. Um, what I'm doing here is, uh, in order to uh, trigger this uh, service, uh, what I'm doing here is I am checking the NAS identifier of the switch, which is basically the host name. And uh, let me just go to the authentication part. For the authentication method, we have to select the PEP method. And what I'm doing is, as authentication source, I'm using the local user repository. Obviously, you can also use different repositories then, but you would have, you would have to set up those uh, repositories. The role mapping policy that we're using is the radius roles. And I am enforcing the Radius Comware 5 policy that I've just shown you. And then finally, let me show you the user that I've created. So there's two uh, users, Red Admin and Red Read Only. And uh, so I am assigning the Red Admin to the Radius Admin role, and I am assigning the Radius, the Red Read Only user, to the Red Read Only rule. And that ba that's basically the configuration for ClearPass. Let's put it to the test. We're launching a new SSH session to the switch. And we're logging in as uh, read-only first. Just to read-only with the password. And I'm logged in. So I should now just have read-only access question mark you can see that I have a, just a limited amount of commands available I cannot get into the system and so this is this is read-only access and so let me show you the access tracker it's a very useful thing and you can see that I have an accept here and my radio response is that I'm returning the HVC exit privilege of zero And now logging in as admin user, red admin, let's continue, red admin with the password. And I'm logged in as admin now, I think. Yes, because I have all the commands at my disposal. So I'm an admin user. And let me show you the access tracker again. I've got an accept and I'm returning the HVC exit privilege three, which is what I want. So this is the radius part. So let's move to TACX. The TACX configuration is very similar to the radius configuration. So let me show you the TACX 
uh, scheme first on the switch. So it's uh, HP TechX scheme uh, clear pass. That's the one I created. And you can see it's exactly the same as the radius scheme. So I'm setting up primary authentication, authorization and accounting to the ClearPass server with a given key. I've set the NES IP address and I'm using username format without domain. And then let me show you the domain. Also very similar for AAA, I am using the HW TechX scheme clear pass. I have a fallback to local, so if my authentication would fa fail, uh, I can fall back to local authentication. So if I have set that up on the switch. The other thing I have configured here is for the RBAC uh, setup, so role-based uh, commands is a authorization and accounting for the HW TechX scheme clear pass. So that's something that I'm going to show you later on. Now the other thing that I need to set is the domain default enable TechX because I want to use the TechX domain now for authentication. So let's check out clear pass the configuration first. So what I've created, uh, I've created two local users, tech admin and tech read only. Uh, what I'm doing with those users, I am uh, assigning those users to a TechX network admin role. So the admin user is mapped to the network admin role for TechX and the tech read only is mapped to the TechX read only admin role and we can use that later on in a configuration of the profiles and policies. So let's check out the profiles. Let's go to the TechX part. Um, so what I've created is two TechX profiles for one for admin and one for read only. Let me show them to you. Um, so, so that's just the, um, the, the profile name and I am providing privilege level three. Right, so I've got the, that would be the admin privilege. I need to select a shell service. So that's one of the, that's the, you know, the one that you can select from the pull down list here. I need to select shell add, and I need to add a service attribute to the service uh, called privilege level. And I am assigning privilege level three. So for uh, RBAC, uh, what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to tick this one. Uh, so this means that if there are any unmatched commands, so if there is no match with any of the commands in the list, I will allow those unmatched commands. So with this option, I disable RBAC. Let me save that one and do the same for the read only one. Oh, that's already done. So that's good. Let's check out the policies. So I've got a single policy. It looks very similar to the to the radius, radius policy. So what you can see here is that well, my default profile is deny profile. So if my authentication is not successful, I am denying access. And I have added two rules to this policy. Uh, one sa saying that if your role equals TechX network admin. So if your user is a network admin, I am assigning the comma 5 admin po uh, profile. If I'm read only, I am assigning the comma 5 read only profile. And then for the services, let's check out the TechX service that I've created here. Um, so I am doing a service rule, I'm creating a service rule on the protocol type. So if my protocol equals TACX, I'm hitting this service. And the other thing is the authentication. I'm using the local user repository. So using the users that I've created in the local user repository. I am not using any role mappings here. 
because I'm mapping to the roles rather than role mappings. And I am enforcing the Tank XCOM Wear 5 policy. And let's test it again, see if TechX is working. So I am using a tech admin user now. Tech admin. Logging in. And you can see I'm logged in. Let's see if I can get into the system mode. I can basically do everything here. Okay, so let's check out the Nexus tracker. I can see that I have a TechX entry here and you can see that the right policies and authorizations are taking place. So let's log in as a read-only user. And now I should have less commands. Again, it's the same. I cannot get into the system mode. And again, show you the TechX uh, entry in the access tracker. You can see that my shell access command is passed and I'm using the TechX Comware 5 read only. And then for the final test, let's do some role based access control. For role-based access control, we have to get into the profiles and uh, I have to now deselect the unmatched commands. And what you have to do then is in the commands section, you can enter the commands that you allow the user to execute. Okay, so let's save that one. And the other thing that you have to do is you have to enable uh, role-based access control on the access switch. So what we have to do is we have to go to the user interface, VTY02, play this. All right, so that's not enabled at the moment. So what I have to do is I have to issue the following command commands. That's command authorization and command auth uh, accounting. And this will enable the command based authorization. So let me just log in again as admin. So I'm logged in and I should be able to do the system, but if, for example, if I want to configure a gigabit Ethernet interface, you get this message here that the system is busy or the command can't be executed because of no such privilege. Now let me just quickly show you the profile again. So these are actually the commands that I can issue. So I can go into system view and I can issue a display saved configuration. So let's go back. So if I do a display saved configuration, that will work. But if I do a display current, I should get the, uh, the error message again. This concludes this video on how to configure RADIUS and TACX for Conway 5 devices with ClearPass. I hope you liked it. There's more videos to come. Stay tuned. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any comments or feedback, please let us know. Thanks for watching.